Okay, in this second tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install plugins from third parties into your AutoGPT uh, instance. So I'm going to use the AutoGPT Planner plugin example that I made, uh, and we're going to go and download it as a zip file by clicking this button right here. Download a zip, and we have to save it. So in your AutoGPT directory, you can go to plugins, and you will be able to save it there. And that's the first step. So next up, we have to go to Visual Studio Code and in your ENV file, I'm gonna add to the very bottom of it, a load, a load listed plugin. And I'm gonna call this Planner Plugin because this is the name of the plugin itself. You go to the repo, you go to source, you go to init. This is the name of the plugin. And that should work for us to to get it running just by having it in the allowed list. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you want to edit the auto GPT planner plugin, you can go to the readme of the plugin and check the description of uh, how to add the new configuration options. This will let you to change the, the language model, change the number of tokens that we're going to use for each planning cycle as well as setting the temperature for that planning cycle. Uh, but that's pretty much uh, an overview of it. We're not gonna cover it in this video just for time's sake, um, but just to keep in mind that these uh, plugins are also configurable depending on how they're built. So now that we have installed the plugin, we're gonna try and do Python 3 minus M auto GPT to see if it's loaded. When it loads, you should get a confirmation message that the plugin has been uh, found successfully, as we can see here. And now that we have it configured and the plugin is loading, we're gonna go again to our AI settings.yaml and I have prepared here a draft for what my AI settings could be, setting the goals, a name, and a role. And I'm going to try have it to create a Terraform um, documentation um, to create something with Terraform. So this is just an example. The key here is to list the name of the commands that you wanted to use. So the um, AutoGPT instance will have so the commands available, but it sometimes is not gonna be able to call them because it doesn't know that what they do or like how they're important for the task at hand. So that's why we should always register them. So now we're gonna load AutoGPT again And I'm gonna continue with the new settings and we'll see what it can do. So here we can see that it's calling the check plan function and I'm gonna say yes. This is one of the functions in the plugin and it's gonna read what the plan.md says. Right now it doesn't say anything so it creates a new one that's just like a template for it to start. And one of the suggestions is using the run planning cycle command to keep this plan up to date. So here it's going to create a new task. Um, let's just say yes. And now it's going to run the planning cycle. Here we will look at the plan and we will improve it. So it's going to take a few seconds, but after this, we should be able to check the plan.md and see the difference. And it has updated the plan. So let's see what it's looking like right now. It's a very long plan, <laughs> but it's good. It's, it's marking stuff as completed, right? So this is just a simple example of a plugin. Um, if you give it a very detailed AI settings.yaml, the plan will look different. For example, I've used this to, to, to send tweets to Twitter for me. Um, so yeah, this is an example. And let's continue with more videos with a playlist. So make sure to check out the playlist and watch what's up next.